Looking to protect your cards? Whether you need sleeves, deck boxes, binders, playmats, or even backpacks, Ultimate Guard has your collection covered. Literally. Premium products offering priceless protection. Visit ultimateguard.com. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today I'm taking a look at a blue eyed control deck featuring Mind Splice Apparatus as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. And this is your classic blue eyed control deck with plenty of sweepers, removal spells, counter spells, and card draw most importantly. And the main centerpiece here is Mind Splice Apparatus, a 4 mana artifact that we can flash in at instant speed in the opponent's end step, perhaps. And then at the beginning of our upkeep, we put an oil counter on the apparatus, and instant and sorcery spells we cast get a 1 mana discount for each oil counter on the apparatus. So the turn after we played apparatus in the opponent's end step, we already get a 1 mana discount on all our spells, and that's only going to increase over time, and we even have ways to add even more counters to the apparatus, using our Monumental Facade, one of the lands in our mana base, enters with two oil counters on it, makes colorless mana, and we can tap it to remove an oil counter from Facade to put an oil counter elsewhere, so we can immediately add extra counters to the apparatus to discount our spells even more, and then we also have four copies of Experimental Augury, which is a two-mana instant, get to look at the top three cards, put one of them into our hands, and we also get to Proliferate, which is a way to add more oil counters to the facade if we had any counters left, as well as add more counters to Apparatus. So casting a one-mana Augury if we untap with Apparatus is essentially free, since it will also add an extra oil counter, which will discount the rest of our hands. So the blue mana is kind of the only constraining factor there. And then proliferating is also a way to add more poison counters to the opponent, because that's our eventual win condition. We're going to poison the opponent to death with our 1-1 might tokens, which we can generate using our two lands here. Mirax is a land that can tap for colors, can also make one mana of any color the turn we played it, and then for three mana tap it to make a 1-1 might token, which cannot block and has toxic one. So if it hits the opponent, we apply one poison counter, and it only takes 10 poison counters to win the game. And then we also have two copies of White Sun's Twilight, which is awesome, especially alongside Apparatus, X and Double White, gain X life, create X 1 1 might tokens, and we also get to destroy all other creatures if X is 5 or more. So this can wipe the board, stabilize us by gaining life as well, and also give us a win condition in the form of those might tokens. And if X equals 5 or more, we're at least making 5 might tokens, so two attacks of those tokens can win us the game already. So that also complements our Mirax quite nicely, and then of course Proliferate can also potentially come in handy. And then with our apparatus on 5 or 6 counters, we can potentially cast Twilight for just double white, leaving all our other mana untapped. Or if we want to gain even more life, we can sink all our mana into it. And probably the most important card in any apparatus deck is Silver Scrutiny. X and double blue for a sorcery to draw X cards. Can also play it at instant speed if X is 3 or less, which can maybe happen early on in the game before we get an apparatus down. But once we get a few oil counters going on apparatus, we're happy to main phase cast Scrutiny, sink all our mana into it, maybe keeping a few lands untapped for additional interaction, and then completely take over. Then we also have some additional sweepers beside White Sun's Twilight, three copies of Depopulate, and then two copies of Farewell. Can sometimes be a little awkward if we want to exile artifacts and we have an apparatus in play, but still an incredibly versatile sweeper that's a must-have for any control deck. And then we've got some cheaper interaction in the form of counter spells, four copies of syncopate, counter spell unless the opponent pays X, and exile it in the process as well. Also great alongside apparatus, in the late game we just need to leave up a single blue mana for a hard counter syncopate most of the time. And then we also have two copies of Bring the Ending, which we can cast early to counter spell unless the opponent pays two. And then in the late game, if we applied a few poison counters with our mites, then it also becomes a hard counter if the opponent has three or more poison counters. And then we've got some spot removal with two copies of the White March, which we can also cast early and in the late game also gets the discount from Apparatus, can also deal with artifacts and enchantments. And then we also have two copies of Fateful Absence as our main answer to a resolved Planeswalker. Could also play with Soul Partition as kind of a versatile catch-all answer, although of course the opponent will eventually be able to replay whatever we exiled. And then we've got some additional card draw and 3 mana with Thirst for Discovery. Draw 3 cards at instant speed and then discard 2 cards unless we discard a basic. Our mana base has plenty of basics to discard late game, but we can also maybe discard additional copies of Apparatus that we no longer need. 
and then a two copies of Union of the Third Path, which is also great, especially after drawing a bunch with Silver Scrutiny, maybe leaving a white mana untapped to still cast it for one mana, and then we get to draw and gain life equal to the number of cards in our hand, which can quickly add up, so that can also be a valuable tool against aggro. And then the mana base has plenty of basics, Got our utility lands, which is one of the upside of being a two-color deck as opposed to a three-color control deck, is that we can get away with a few colorless lands in our mana base, and then plenty of blue-white duels. Don't want to play with a new Seachrome Coast, since we want our lands to be untapped late game, and then the channel lands can also offer some additional interaction. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, and seems pretty decent. Got all our colors, we've got... Some early interaction, and then apparatus setting up our late game of scrutiny, and depopulate to catch us back up against an aggressive deck. Up against mono blue, can be a very tricky matchup. Although apparatus having flash is a huge upside here, and that's really the card we want to resolve. So I'm going to wait for the opponent to make a move before we flash an apparatus. Okay, opponent considers, that's fine. Hoping they impulse as well so I can flash an apparatus. And then I don't care what they resolve in their turn as long as we keep getting the mana discount. As a scatter, obviously not very good in this matchup. So hopefully we can keep hitting our land drops. Igancho could also be an answer to an attacking Hadi Jin. And at least by waiting until the late game, we can pay for conditional counter spells. So I'm forced to run out Igancho, letting the opponent know that uh, we're out of other lands. So, could flash an apparatus. Can at least pay for like a spell pierce or make disappear. Versus playing a scrutiny for three, which they could more easily counter. Alright, opponent lets it resolve. That's a huge win for us. And then now we'll pass. Let it slowly tick up, and then we can cast a huge scrutiny without having to tap out. Opponent goes digging as well. So in response, I could scrutiny for three just to refuel a little bit. And still have two mana untapped, so we could still syncopate for two. Okay. Another good pickup here. So, good main phase apparatus, so I don't have to discard to hand size, and with all our sweepers in hand, I'm not too afraid of our opponents necessarily resolving something scary. Valerian Terror, three mana left. I think we let that one slide. Syncopate is going to become pretty much a hard counter for one mana. Don't think we need to Fateful Absence, let's just untap, maybe depopulate in my turn. See if there's a response. Bounce your own terror, that's fine by me. So we could draw a ton of cards here with Silver Scrutiny, while still leaving Syncopate available, which may be the way to go. Um, although I'll end up having to discard to hand size a bunch, so maybe we just take it slow. Try and get some answers out of our hand first, and then I can try to Syncopate Talarian Terror. Feels kind of bad to do so. But if our plan is to set up Scrutiny, maybe that's fine. So, unless they pay 5.
Just want to trade some resources here. Alright, they let it slide. Another scrutiny is good to have. Okay, so do I need to go for it now? Could just pass. Opponent has four mana, so not enough for a flow of knowledge end of turn, which would be a concern otherwise. So, we'll be patient. I would love to find a Mirax to start making tokens end of turn, so bring the ending can be online as well. Opponent's got nothing. Take our turn. Even have to discard to hand size here. Which is why hitting your land drops in a control matchup is so important. So now there is the concern of a flow of knowledge. So we could silver scrutiny draw eight without having to tap more than two mana here. Probably should not have played my land yet. If this gets negated, that's fine. We have another one. Make this appear, we can pay for it. Spell Pierce, we can pay for it. Okay, so now Union would gain us a ton of extra life, which seems worth it. And then the card we really want to resolve is White Sun's Twilight. Probably no point to casting anything else right now. I could augury, but it's not like I'm going to be able to play anything I find. So yeah, we'll discard to hand size a bunch. So now we can definitely discard a couple of lands. Probably don't need Fateful Absence as much. Something like this. can try digging for more hard counters with Augury. But we've got all the tools we need to win the game now. Thirsts, that's fine. And a Haughty Gin, so in response, let's Augury. And then I might tap them out with Bring the Ending. To then set up our lethal White Suns. Syncopate's great too. So bring the ending just to tap them out is fine. And then we still have a. Unless you pay 10 Syncopate. Spell Pierce. So. Yeah, we can try and get the Haughty Gin now, or we can let it resolve and then Syncopate as backup for White Suns is good enough. So 12 counters on our apparatus, which means we can cast White Suns for 12 without having to really tap out. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems fine. Can use our facade to add extra oil counters to the apparatus. Turn two cliff stompers or upon kind of a mid rangey red deck. Okay, so I guess I'll play the facade in case I want to discard basic to thirst. And then we could march to deal with a cliff stomper, but for now, I think hang on to syncopates. We've got the late game covered with apparatus into scrutiny, so just want to hit our land drops pretty much. And then take our turn. Absence can also deal with a cliff stomper. Although we might want to thirst to just find more lands. So now cliff stomper can hit for four. And a bankbuster, that's fine. 
It's gonna be slow enough that we can keep up with it. March can also exile it eventually. And let's hope to hit some lands here. Okay, discarding Fateful Absence. And then maybe one March, since we're gonna reset the board with Farewell, possibly. Although we don't want to Farewell exiling artifacts with Apparatus out. So I'll still need one March at least. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, second Apparatus, not as important, but could still help. So now the hope is that our opponent doesn't tap out for anything too scary. We can flash an apparatus and then take over with a mana discount. Possible our opponent has a braid to destroy artifacts, but we'll find out soon. Okay, Fable resolves. Can exile enchantments with Farewell. And our opponent's gonna stay back. Interesting. So is this an abrade here? At least we have a backup apparatus. Nope, we get to untap with it. Can use facade on apparatus, augury, proliferates. Finding depopulate could be an answer to the current board. And then still keep up Syncopate during the opponents. Opponent can draw. And then we're feeling pretty good going into the late game here with Silver Scrutiny, Farewell. Planeswalkers are probably things we need to counter since we don't have answers to them in hand after discarding Fateful Absence. But Bangbuster, I think, is acceptable. Can exile one of them with a March. Stomper's okay too. So they can hit us for four. And, uh,. We'll let that happen. Could just march the author Bankbuster right now. Could also decide to farewell the entire board anyway, since we have another apparatus to play, and just accept that we lose our current one. Yeah, maybe that's fine too. Let's start with Union, maybe. Gain some life back. And then if I farewell, exile everything, I'll still have a Syncopate for X equals 2 during the opponent's turn. Could also get rid of creatures and enchantments and try to grind our way through Bangbuster just by casting a big scrutiny. Which honestly could also work. So. Creatures, enchantments, graveyards. Opponent draws. And we'll pass. Opponent gets a pilot. If they crew Bankbuster to attack, I might exile it. Requisitioner with Blitz instead. That's fine. Can take a bit of a hit. Alright, so now they're gonna crew Bankbuster and uh, we'll wait for it to attack so they can all draw in response to the march. Then now it's time for a large scrutiny. So how much do we want to 
sink our mana into it. Good for side, put an extra counter on apparatus. Or we could keep it there in case we want to proliferate more oil counters onto facade first. Which could be relevant if our opponent somehow uh, destroys our artifact and we need to start over. So I'm going to leave myself with one planes untapped. So x equals 9. And then we can still play an island we draw to keep up syncopate. Or I can keep an extra white source untapped. Sure, x equals 8 is enough. Okay, Union's a perfect follow-up. And then do I want a Fateful Absence their pilots just to not have to discard their hand size as much? That's reasonable, although it's probably my only answer to Planeswalkers left. So I'll just discard here. Wastes, planes, times two can go. And then we just need to find a bit more card draw, eventually a White Sun's Twilight. Ooh, Cityscape Leveler. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Can at least exile it here with a Syncopate, but that will reset our apparatus all the way. So we'll have to rebuild. So we could main face apparatus, put two oil counters on it from facade. Can counter another leveler. Which is gonna get our apparatus either way. Sure. So this seems fine. I guess we can even use the power stone here, so that leaves a little bit more mana available. And then it's probably the plan to start activating Mirex. Take four from Bankbuster, way to cast Depopulate until there's more targets in play. Alright, another leveler, it's painful. So, counter unless you pay four here. One has got two treasures, so that should work. At least we still have a lot of mana total to just uh, cast a large White Suns. But now we're on the double Mirex plan. Don't think I need to depopulate right now. And the Power Stone is also helpful in activating our land. And then once we hit them with a few Mites, the counter spell here will also be a hard counter, which is important. Pun probably has a few spot removal spells in hand that they can fire off now. Another depopulates. Mindstone and Weakstone resolves. Can draw two. Another Farewell would be a nice top deck here. Any card draw, really. So now we've got a better idea what the opponent's deck is trying to accomplish. Much more top heavy than I imagined. So, could Fateful Absence the Bankbuster now. So we can keep making Mites without having to depopulate. Eventually I might have to depopulate to get rid of the pilots. But, uh, yeah, I guess we want to stay at a healthier life total here. Go 
opponent immediately cashes in their clue. Voltage Surge kills one token, that's fine. And Bolt for another. Okay. Don't mind seeing that. We'll still get them to three poison here. And there's Farewell. Perfect. Although, interestingly, if we go for Artifacts, it also gets rid of our Power Stones. So do we really want to farewell here? Opponent's got a bank buster to apply pressure with. If I depopulate to kill the pilot, they won't be able to crew bank buster until they make another pilot, which feels kind of bad to just kill one pilot token here. So maybe we wait, let them commit more stuff to the board and then farewell. And if it's something incredibly scary, we can always counter. Because our opponent's on a real clock here. Two tokens per turn, already at four poison. So we could technically get there in two turns. So they might have to reset the board. Token attacking kind of implies a sweeper incoming. Yep, dealing with creatures, that's fine. One fewer pilot to worry about. And Koth. Koth is a problem. I think we should counter that one. Since it can quickly reach ultimates. And then now Farewell is looking better. Although once again we could just start beating down with our might. Backup Koth. Yep. So now we might want to attack the Planeswalker with our mites instead. Slow down an ultimate. Seems like they have a spot removal spell here. Let's us untap. Augury can go digging. Alright, that's an easy choice. Proliferates a poison counter as well. So we're getting awfully close to poisoning our opponent to death. So maybe that should be my plan. Could see them blocking with a pilot as well. Opponent takes it. And yeah, let's pass. Two more tokens end of turn. Hope to get there. For opponent hard cast the skitter beam battalion, we're just dead. So don't want to see that. Did not end up finding another silver scrutiny, which is what we really needed. And of course keeping apparatus in check also helps, although it's not like we had to waste to spend all that extra mana. Right, Koth goes digging. So next turn can ultimate. Bangbuster is going to smack us for four. And then they'll need some instant speed removal here. And a white sense is perfect. Okay. Let's see if we got there. Looks like we did. Awesome. So yeah, double Mirex goes a distance without actually completely controlling the game. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play and our hand seems fine. Double Augury to find Apparatus, Union to gain a bit of life, and hopefully set up a farewell. Well, let's see what we're up against. Red Black. Sometimes I prefer keeping an augury until after we play apparatus to immediately start proliferating, but in this case we need to fire one off now. And we already have four lands, so I think I'm okay taking a scrutiny here, even though we'll eventually need to find a second white source. Can maybe hold the Mirax to cast Farewell. For now go for Union. And we'll start taking some damage.
opponent on Grixis with Iconoclast, so a spell heavy build. So I wouldn't mind finding some more sweepers. For now, I can play Facade and then Augury to proliferate at least. Sure. And a Sahili. So let's cast our Augury in response in case we find a counterspell. Syncopate will do. Since Farewell does not deal with Planeswalkers. Do want to hold the basic in case we find another Thirst. But uh, for now I think the plan is end of turn scrutiny, draw three. Can keep up appearances. And then next turn, farewell. Hopefully, getting rid of everything. Synthesizer is fine. Can still exile artifacts at least. The main concern is a counter spell. And her opponent does keep up three mana, so that's a concern. Although we did find ample sweepers here. So yeah, let's go for it. Farewell, step one. And if that fails, next turn we can White Suns for five. Okay. Synthesizer getting a grasp, which they cannot cast. So still haven't found our apparatus. Sahili, we can try and pressure with our White Suns. Or we can get our apparatus in play first. Now our opponent could have artifact removal. So I'm possibly better off playing this end of turn. Or I could play it now, immediately put an oil counter on it. And then we could still possibly march if we wanted to. Or let's see. Yeah, I guess with one oil counter, we're unable to cast Depopulate afterwards. So, yeah, I'm tempted to Apparatus now. And then tapping carefully. Leaving ourselves with some white mana. Probably should have held an extra basic in case of uh, Thirst, although there's only one left since the other one's on the bottom. Harvesters, okay. Creatures we can handle. And an anvil, we're gonna wanna march. So, Sahili gonna try and tap the blood token here. And anvil sacrifices it. That's fine. Take two. And we'll hit the anvil. Okay, step one augury. Finding thirst. Extra oil counter. And so now if we were to cast the White Suns, we can cast it for X equals 8, or we can leave ourselves with 1 mana for Thirst. I think maxing out on White Suns is fine here. Our tokens can potentially win the game in 2 turns. Research desk goes digging, trying to find answers. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Hand seems keepable. Hoping to find apparatus soon to set up our white suns. 
up against a red deck. And turn on Phoenix Chicks or Red Aggro. Okay. It's gonna be a tough one, but being on the play certainly helps. And then we wanna try and find something like a sweeper, depopulate, is gonna be quite useful. Felden we could counter. Or I could augury look for a depopulate, although we still need second white. So I think syncopating here is going to be okay, just to buy us some time, even though I would prefer to keep syncopate for harder to answer cards like maybe a mechanized warfare. Could have also gone for fateful absence, since it's going to take a while for them to cash in the extra artifact. Now probably set up augury, and then we'll need a second white source as we mentioned. I'm okay taking two, if they fire off a burn spell, I might absence the Swiss Spear. Okay, Thirsts versus just getting a Plains. I think just get the Plains here, play it safe. So now we just need to buy a little bit of time until we can White Suns for X equals 5, which is going to be the big turning point. Kumano trigger Swiss Spear. So there's a decent chance I'm going to want to absence the Swiss Spear here. And then next turn we can Scrutiny for 3, potentially at instant speed. Opponent cracks a clue. Keep basic in hand for thirsts. Squeeze a good one. So that's gonna deal four here. Unless we wanted to channel Soaring City, which maybe should have been the play. Although, on the other hand, we kind of want the opponent to keep their creatures in play to die to our sweeper. So let's draw three, hopefully find some other board wipe. Union is great too. Although the only downside of casting Union is that I wouldn't be able to get the apparatus down. Which is sort of a priority. But if I Union now, that should buy me at least one turn, still have Syncopate up. And then next turn we can uh, Twilight for five, even without apparatus. Phoenix check. Those can potentially come back. So they're taking quite the beating. But hopefully we can gain a bunch of life back here. Opponents can uh, potentially get back Squee. And then we'll try and bounce it next turn, maybe try and counter on the way back. Ooh, Shivan Devastator for six. Okay. Certainly something we're gonna wanna bounce with Soaring City. Although our tokens can also close out to game in two attacks. So we'll pass. Hope they don't have six points of damage elsewhere. Another Shivan Devastator, this one for four. So I can counter unless you pay three, and then still channel Soaring City. And then they should be unable to kill us, even with three damage from Lightning Strike. So I think this worked out perfectly. I guess they're going to be forced to try and kill a Might token now, which I think is totally fine. So yeah, put in force to kill a mite. And then attack for four. Syncopate for Devastator. 
And then we should be able to cross the finish line next turn. So yeah, ended up being incredibly close. Ronin, that's fine. It's two damage. I guess they could still technically channel it after picking it back up, try and find a burn spell, and then go for Squee, but Squee will just exile here. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. Beat Monorat. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems fine. Bit light on interaction, perhaps. Turn one Evolved Sleeper is scary, so we'll need a Sweeper to eventually deal with it. But we have our Apparatus. Bit of card draw. So we can go digging for the answers we need. Opponent levels up, smacks us for two, and plays another sleeper. Okay, White Suns can eventually clean things up, especially alongside Apparatus, giving it a discount. Black White means they might have answers to artifacts, Mono Black typically doesn't. So we'll take four. And then Bankbuster, I probably counter with Bring the Ending can keep Augury until after Apparatus to proliferate onto it. And then a Thirst for now. Gonna be in trouble if Shieldred shows up. Although then we can go digging for Depopulate to wipe the board. It's our opponent leveling up both Sleepers it seems. Since they don't want to overextend. So if we take 6, we go to 8, and then next turn we could die to an Invoke Despair before we get our Apparatus going. But, um, yeah, I think so it goes. Can Thirst. And there's Depopulate, perfect. So can get rid of a Plains. And then now the question is, do we Apparatus anyway? Put ourselves to 2, that to Invoke Despair, Blitzed Underdog also gets us. Or do we just wipe the board, opponent untaps, plays Shieldred, we go to 6, and then Absence can take care of it, I guess. Seems okay. Invoke Despair is still 6 damage. But nope, there's a Blitzed Underdog. So now we're within range of a lethal Invoke. So we'd love to find a Counterspell. Syncopate, perfect. Now we face another interesting decision. Could also main phase Apparatus, just tap out, put a counter on it with Facade, and then next turn is going to be incredibly powerful with a huge discount. Or we can keep up Syncopates, which um, can maybe counter a lethal Invoke Despair. Although Invoke Despair is going to be pretty tough to beat anyways here, I feel. If our opponent just blitzes Underdog again, that's fine. Reason to main phase apparatus is that we can only use facade at sorcery speed, so we would basically miss out on a counter. I think we do main phase it. And then next turn we can start with an augury as well if we'd like. And just hope we don't die here. Blitzed underdog, perfect. We're at two, but uh, two is not dead. Okay, so if I start with Augury, we proliferate onto Facade as well. It's basically free with Apparatus out. And we'll grab a Deserted Beach. So, counter on Apparatus. Play Deserted Beach. And then... I could use White Suns just to gain some life here. So we can White Suns for 5 and keep up Syncopate. And these may be able to get there over the course of 2 or 3 turns. Path of Peril would just deal with the Mites. I think at this point we actually counter it to keep up the pressure. Mirex can add another Mite token end of turn as well. 
and we kind of flipped the script. Now our opponents all of a sudden, the one having to play defense. Bangbuster is fine. And a farewell. Okay. So attack for five poison. And we'll just pass. Plan to activate Mirex end of turn. So even one spot removal spell is not good enough. Another path, however, is going to get us... I could Fateful Absence my own token just to draw. Which is an option. Might want to keep it for an opposing creature. Although we have a farewell. So maybe we actually go for it here. And then I'll still have the mana to activate Mirex. But might as well draw in case we find a counterspell. A union. Okay, so path resolves. Activate Mirex. And then step one union. Okay, an augury. Finding a silver scrutiny, there we go. That was a missing piece. Proliferate onto the opponent as well. Attack, and then scrutiny. We can cast for seven to refresh our entire hand and then still have potential interaction available. And our opponent concedes and we get to level up, awesome. Alright, so that was a clean run with blue-white control, and the apparatus looked incredibly impressive, setting up lethal white suns out of nowhere, and of course the combo with silver scrutiny, the most impressive one, just translating those oil counters into extra cards is an easy way to take over the late game. So that's gonna do it for today's gameplay, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.